Uh, speaking of appliances, which yes. we, we, we are, have, have you ever purchased a battery-operated toothbrush? I had, let's see, battery-operated. It, it looks like, uh, it's, it looks like an, we used to call them electric toothbrushes, but... Well, I have one people, I yeah. have a... But it's a little, it's a soft, it's a bad, little battery thing inside. Mm -hmm. I, I bought one that actually is not re rechargeable, you just change the, the, the batteries. Oh, but uh, <laughs> it, it stopped working. Um, which is a kind of a theme of things that I end up uh, buying. Um, do you know what what you have if you have a battery operated toothbrush and it no longer accepts batteries? You've got a toothbrush. You have a toothbrush. Ah, yes. <laughs> you have a very big, heavy I'll toothbrush. Do you think there are people who don't use it because well, I can't use it. I don't have well, a battery for it. What what I discovered was I I, I put it in my face. Um, uh, the other day, and I turned it on, and it, you know, the, it's a little spin. The, the, it spins. The little end spins, and instead of spinning at you know seven thousand RPM, it was spinning at about three <laughs> RPM. And I thought, mm -hmm. I'm going to be here brushing my teeth until until next Arbor Day. Speaking of teeth, lately, uh, well, I've had a lot of work done on my teeth. I had a little oral surgery. Fine, thank you. And, and then I had to have an inlay. Have you had one, had one of those? No. <laughs> no, I don't mean anything. Come on. And, and, and right. I had a crown basically yes. replaced. And um, uh, so I've had a lot of trips to the dentist, yeah. more than normal. I go twice a year normally. And I, every time I go, they give me a, a goodie bag with a new toothbrush, yeah. toothpaste, uh, fluoride gel, and floss. I now have 16 containers of floss. I love it. It's great. I don't have right. to go to the dentist. Oh, yeah. Man, uh, um, you may think this is a wonderful and generous thing, but you've just spent three thousand dollars at the dentist I've and spent, he gives you yeah. four dollars worth of yeah. stuff <laughs> and you're really happy. Isn't that funny how we guess that way? It's, we get excited uh, about things okay. like that. Well, you know, are you on, on, you are on, on vacation. All right. Uh, we know. We know that you stayed at the Ritz in Naples. I did. And uh, I want to ask you if you have now little containers of Ritz shampoo in your bathroom at home. The only thing that I took, and I did take one thing. What did you take? And I'll tell you what I took. I took the, the bed. No, took, I didn't take the bed. You took a lamp. I it was took a, very a nice little lamp. vial of skin lotion because I'll tell you why. Because when when I have a deep tan, as you can tell, and I start to peel, right? And I'm thinking, who better than a hotel in Florida to have the right kind of lotion when you start peeling? So it was the only thing I figured I would need that on my way home. Okay. That the answer good. to that, who aside from a Ritz Carlton? Uh, I'm thinking of CVS. Yeah, I know, I know. So, I know. Uh, but but <laughs> there is more panache to have on your yes. in your bathroom. I mean, so if somebody if somebody came to your house now, they came out of the bathroom. The first thing they would say is is uh, were were you did you stay at the Ritz? You want someone to say that. You don't want somebody to say, "Have you been staying at the CVS?" <laughs> yeah. You do not want that to happen. <laughs> Well, let, let's it is just, not a good vacation. Okay, it's summertime, people are traveling, we all know that. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about this for a second. Welcome to everything you always wanted to know about nothing, and uh, we're afraid to ask. When, when you go to a hotel, you spend a lot of time on the road, mm -hmm. do a lot of traveling for mm -hmm. your work as a, as a writer and as a consultant. When you are in a, in a very nice hotel, whatever, and they provide you with a daily box of little soap, Mm -hmm. Okay, and you have, as most men, no, I assume... Not a box of soap. It's, it's a, a box. box. It's a little box <laughs> with a, a bar, bar of soap. It's a bar of soap. But it's usually it's in a like box or a wrapper, right? I always figure, well, that's, I'll take one of these with me for my little travel bag because I would yeah. have already used whatever bar of soap I have in my travel, my little shaving mm -hmm. kit. That's it. Is that, a, is that a crime? No, I don't think. Is it? The, uh, yeah, I, I can see you, you in... in, in it. But, but I, you know, I, I actually can, I actually can see at some point no. uh, you in a, in, a, in a prison documentary, you know, with guys with tattoos, and they, what did you do? I, I, I killed 11 people. What did you do? I, I took some soap. 